All right, so I've got my second floor in. Uh, next thing I'm looking at is there are some windows on that floor. Looks like a three-paneled and a six-paneled window. So let's take a look at that and see what we can do. So I'm going to get in here. I've got my 3D cursor set here. So if I do windows, they should show up by default to be in this location, which I think for the moment is okay. Uh, I think actually what I'm going to do is let's go to a top view. And let's go to Archimesh. And I will add a panel window. There it is. Let's... Go to the window panel and let's have the number of horizontal panels be six. Let's look at this from above. Let's actually grab this and um, Grab the window group here. We're going to, from above, grab by pushing G, and I'll push X and slide it over so that it's roughly centered on this window. I will use S to scale so that it matches up size-wise with what we should be seeing. Hey, that's not so bad. Um, I think the next thing I'll do, though, is front view, G to grab, on Z, and bring it up a little bit. Looking pretty sharp. Actually, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to control Z and put it back where it was for the moment. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in that second set of windows right away. So let's go back to Archimesh and we'll add another panel window. This time I will leave it at three. Let's... Um, Look at it from a top view, grab it, move it over to be centered roughly with the window on the plan. And again, S to scale it down, and there we go. Look at it from the front view. Maybe we'll scale it down some more on Z. Just kind of eyeballing things. And then what I'll do is grab each window group on Z and move them up to an approximate height. Now, the one other thing that I want to do is, like on the previous floor, <clears throat> uh, I want to make sure that I have auto holes selected. And that being the case, the windows are now actually inserted into the building. All right. Let's call that okay for now.